Brazilian Air Force FAB, is set to begin modernizing its fleet of AB-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft to the AB-29M standard in 2025. This initiative, reported by Defensa on November 19, 2024, follows the completion of a feasibility study slated for early 2025. The program aims to enhance the aircraft's interoperability with the FAB's Gripen NG fighters, bringing the fleet of 68 aircraft in line with modern combat requirements. These aircraft are currently distributed across four operational squadrons, Scorpio, Fletcher, Griffo, and Joker. The Joker squadron, stationed at Natal Air Base, focuses on advanced training for new combat aviation officers transitioning from the Air Force Academy. The modernization program will significantly upgrade the A-29's avionics and combat systems. A key feature is the integration of Wide Area Display WAD technology, similar to that used in the Gripen NG. Additional enhancements include advanced electro-optical sensors, laser-guided weaponry, reinforced armor, self-protection systems to counter missile threats, and the BR-2 data link. This data link will enable seamless communication between A-29s, Gripen NG fighters, E-99 radar aircraft, and ground stations, improving mission coordination and effectiveness. To bolster pilot training, the modernization package introduces a synthetic training system capable of simulating electronic warfare, aerial and ground threats, and radar operations. This system is expected to enhance situational awareness and operational readiness for FAB pilots. The FAB's approach prioritizes sustaining its existing fleet rather than procuring new aircraft. This decision aligns with the Air Force's broader strategy to extend the operational lifespan of its Super Tucano fleet by 15 years. The program complements the FAB's ongoing acquisition of Gripen NG fighters, with 40 units ordered since 2014 and 8 already delivered. The AB-29 Super Tucano, also known as the EMB-314, is a light attack and advanced training aircraft developed by the Brazilian aerospace company Embraer. Since its induction in 2003, the FAB has utilized 99 units under the ALX program. Known for its rugged design, the AB-29 is capable of operating in harsh environments, including the Amazon region. It carries a diverse array of weaponry, from machine guns to precision-guided munitions, and has proven effective in low-intensity conflicts. Beyond its use in Brazil, the AB-29 has seen international adoption, including NATO-compliant variants like the AB-29N for the Portuguese Air Force. Embraer has expanded production partnerships in Portugal and the United States, supplying aircraft to operators worldwide, including Angola, Ecuador, Nigeria, and the Philippines. The Super Tucano has played a vital role in border patrol, counter-narcotics missions, and pilot training. Domestically, it has been employed in operations like Operation Agata, targeting illicit airstrips and criminal networks. Internationally, the aircraft has demonstrated combat effectiveness in precision strikes by countries like Colombia. The modernization of the AID-29 Super Tucano fleet underscores the FAB's commitment to maintaining a versatile and capable air force. By enhancing interoperability with the Gripen NG and extending the operational life of the fleet, the FAB ensures its readiness to address evolving defense challenges while optimizing resources. This initiative marks a significant step in aligning Brazil's aerial capabilities with modern combat demands. Thank <music> you.